You see the golf carts at the Iowa State Fair, and we like to give rides, and we're back for Corndog Conversations. John Putney was the first director of the Blue Ribbon Foundation, and John, are you okay riding on my golf cart today? Is that okay? Sure. All right, sure. All right let's go for a ride here, John. Uh, so what year did the Blue Ribbon Foundation start? 1993. So in 1993, the fair was starting to show some age. Did it feel like you were fighting a fire with a garden hose at first? Yes, it, it certainly did. And you know, the, the fair board had to use all the revenue fr generated from uh, ticket sales and concession commissions. And th then they had to use that money to fix roofs and so on. And so there was no, no way that we could really m make Im any further improvements to the, uh, to the fairgrounds. And uh, so that was, you know, when the foundation started, why that was our goal to, to, uh, to enable the fair board to do, make decisions based on the survival, actually, of this fairground. Uh, John, are you okay if we stop for a minute and go get a corn dog? Sure. It's, it's, sure. it's time to have a corn dog at any time of day, right? You bet. W what do you like about a corn dog? Well, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure what I do like. I, I, I really am not big on hot dogs, but I, I love corn dogs. There's a big fundraiser for the Blue Ribbon Foundation called the Corn Dog Kickoff. How is it that the corn dog got to be associated so strongly with specifically the Iowa State Fair? When we thought about themes for the corn dog kickoff, the corn dog just seemed to be the, 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 the main staple of state fair attendees. And so, you know, it just became a natural to call it the corn dog kickoff. It's kind of like the second phrase. It's, it's right up there with when you say state fair, butter cow, corn dog. They're all kind of all together. That's right. John, we're in front of the ye old mill. Again, it's like state fair, butter cow, corn dog, ye old mill. It is right up there with one of those top memories people have. It sure is. And, you know, that was very important that we got, had that renovated as quickly as we did because it was, it was in danger of being closed as well. All right, I, I better stop asking you questions unless you finish that. Let's keep going. There's a couple more things I want to see. We're going by the administrative center. That one looks like a new building to me and not a renovated. How did that come about? Well, there, there was a, sort of a dilapidated <laughs> old building here. And so we needed to clean that area up at the same time uh, it was, the fair board decided they needed something for handicap uh, assistance and for uh, first aid and uh, just general uh, informational center. And so that became a very important part of developing the credibility that we knew we had to have. You know, I'm just so happy that, that we provide the, the uh, fairgrounds and a state fair that it has so many wonderful features that other fairs don't have and that uh, other venues don't have. Does that make you proud as an Iowan oh, to know I, how we all pulled together? I can't tell you how proud I am. And, and you know, I think that, the, that this, this undertaking is, uh, there should be a lot of other ones like this that go on in Iowa. John, thank you so much for going along on this uh, corn dog conversation. We had conversation and we had a corn dog. I think we checked them both off. Thank you, John. No, you bet. Thank you. Thank you.